start All right, the video. Just make sure you stay still for me. Are you taping? Yep. Okay. Whoa! That was nothing! That's so cool! We are in lock two on the Trent Severn waterway. We are rafted up to our buddy boat. See our lines there? Our buddy boat, Life is Short. And then behind us is Dennis and Moray on Gypsy and Tom and Randy on Last Pairing. And we're gonna be going through all of the locks with this group. Um, today we've got 12 locks and 32 miles. This is lock two. I wanted to videotape when we were in lock one But I could not find my phone And I was frantically searching for it and finally found it and it had fallen off of my desk and into the trash can so crisis averted and There we are Well, it's about 125 on a Monday afternoon and Sharon and I are cruising on the Trent Severn Waterway. Uh, right now we're between locks six and seven uh, on the, uh, on, like I said, on the Trent Severn. Uh, it's a area of the waterway that is known as Danger Narrows and it's pretty well marked. Uh, I'll, I'll say extremely well marked. Get outside the channel you'll be in trouble on some rocks and some uh, gravel and stuff like that it's pretty shallow outside the channel but uh we're traveling with our three other buddy boats here today uh, we've met these all these folks along the way uh, one is life's short live it that's uh bill and linda jungbloom uh, a boat called gypsy uh, that is Dennis and Maury Kynan and uh, Randy and Tom on a boat named Last Pairing. Anyhow, we're all traveling together today. Our objective is to get to Campbellford. That's on, just on the other side of Lot 12. It's an aggressive day, but uh, we're making good time. Uh, everyone that we've talked to at the lock said, yeah, you'll be there about 5, 5.30 or so. And it's 1.30 now, so. Uh, kind of a real slow pace. The, uh, the Trent Severn controls your speed at 10 miles or 10 kilometers per hour. So, uh, and I'm doing a little bit faster than that. I hope I don't get pulled over. But this is a, an area through here that a lot of people uh, find uh, a lot of recreation through here. You see a lot of jet skis, some ski boats, those type of things, and. Uh, so yeah, we're uh, having a good day today. We left uh, we left Trenton this morning at Port Trent, Trenton Port and Arena at quarter after eight, and uh, took us a while to get through the first lock. There were several uh, boats in front of us. We were in the second flight that went through. So uh, yeah, we're having a good time, and uh, just thought we'd check in with you and. Uh, We'll show you a little bit along the way too. So, see you later.
Well, I'm walking through uh, a neighborhood here in Campbellford and I come across this lawn here in front of this home. I think they had a party here last night. Over there, you got your barbecue grill, you got your beer tap, you got your little kiddie pool right down here, and you got a big umbrella over here to shade them from the sun, and you have a little screen room over here to keep the mosquitoes away from you. I think they had a little party here yesterday. Yesterday was a uh, Canadian holiday. I'm not really sure what it commemorates, but uh, it's probably what they were doing. I don't know if you can hear me because it's really windy up here on the flybridge today, but I wanted to just show you this beautiful Canadian countryside up here. We're on the Trent Severn Waterway. That's our, our buddy boat in front of us. Life is short, live it. thunderstorms coming through uh, plus it's like August the 5th uh, 2022 and uh, I had some month-end work that I needed to do so I've just been hunkered down in the um, in the boat getting that done there's a there's a Holiday Inn right there and right down the side of it they've got a little um, Riverside restaurant we had dinner there one night there's a lot of things within walking distance. There's a boater's world, a grocery store, some restaurants. I mean, just literally right here. And they have a summer concert series here uh, on win Wednesdays and Saturdays. It's just a free concert. And uh, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little tent over there over the stage. So we, we got here Wednesday night. So we saw the first one or heard the first one. Uh, but we're leaving tomorrow, Saturday, to make our way back up the um, Trent Severn and into Georgian Bay. So we'll be leaving here. We've got to, we have to fuel up, and the lock doesn't open until nine. So we'll probably leave here at nine o'clock when they when they open. We'll be down there at the fuel dock, which is right right down there in front of that lighthouse building, and we'll fuel up and then make our way. Um, out of here and into the first big lock that we're going to come to is a Peterborough lock and I think the lift is like 65 feet so that's what's going on here good morning from the flybridge of the grand plan of all the things that I worried about that would happen while we were on the Great Loop. This is not one of them. This is a safe that we have on the boat. We've got our passports in it and some cash and um, just different things that we want to lock up when we leave the boat. And I came in this morning and went to open it and it will not open. The keys are completely dead. It won't do anything. And there's a little key thing right there that you can use in an emergency 
Well, that key is at my house in Ocala, Florida, and I am in Peterborough, Ontario, Canada. So, we've called a locksmith. It's always something. Thank mm -hmm. you.